Hi everyone, Tech the Redneck here again. Today's video will be a reveal or expose, so to speak, of the motherboard and the processor for my computer build. First thing we'll look at is the motherboard. Motherboard, an important thing to see on this one is, if you can read that, it says AM3 CPU. That means that this motherboard is compatible with an AM3 central processing unit. On the back of the box there's some graphics and some nifty looking things. I'm not going to go into exactly what all that stuff is. Uh, you can look it up if you want to know. I won't be covering that in my videos. They won't be that detailed anyway. Also before we open the box, or before I open the box, something you should always remember is to ground yourself when you're handling these components. Static electricity builds up and uh, you don't want to discharge that into the components. Uh, I will not be using a grounding strap, an official grounding strap. I will be touching my camera tripod, however, every so often to discharge any static electricity that may be built up within me. Uh, and also, I'm not in my sock feet rubbing my feet on the carpet, so we shouldn't have any problems. Okay, into the box. Okay, you can see what we have in the box is an is a cover, an in-out cover for the, uh, the case. Some software which has what I'm sure are drivers and other things that are will be useful when we're uploading all the stuff and getting things running. Um, looks like a cable that would be actually a cable ribbon with two adapters on it to fit older style drives. I think those are called IDE drives and two newer cables are SATA cables for SATA drives and connecting those types of components. That's what we'll be using in this computer build. And one of the most important things in the box is the user's guide. With the user's guide and with any user's guide and any computer components you should read the user's guide first before doing anything with it. It might save you a lot of grief in the long run. I have already read this user guide as well as all the other user's guides you'll see in the videos. I've already read this user's guide. It has all the information of how to install it and what's compatible, what's not, all the information you need. I would encourage you to read all user's guides on anything you buy. Okay, we lift up this cover. And of course we see the motherboard. The motherboard, motherboard is in a bag. This is a, like a static resistant bag. It helps protect it from static electricity as well as keeping dust and stuff out of it. When you handle this motherboard or any motherboard or any electronic components or that are on a board like this, a circuit board, you don't want to just grab anything on there and pick it up. You want to, I use the bag to get it out and you want to handle it by the edges as much as possible. And this bag we will open on this side. Okay, and you want to save that bag because that bag is what you want to set this down on. If you've got to sit this down on something, that bag is a safe place to sit it because it's, it's not going to hold static electricity. But as you can see, that's the front of the board. Let's see if I can fill the frame with it. That's the front of the board. This is the socket, the AM3 socket that your processor will go in. Pretty nifty, huh? And there's your outputs on your motherboard. This is the back of the motherboard. Nothing too flashy or exciting on the motherboard. It's just basically where everything goes. Very important piece though. So I'm going to sit that down on the back. Okay, next thing we'll look at is going to be the processor. It's an AMD processor and it is an AM3 socket. It'll fit an AM3 socket. I've already been into this, read the owner's manual, I removed the top so the video would go easier. So you have an owner's manual, you have a little thing here with your little holder for your processor, that's the actual processor. As you can see, it's in its own protective case and has a foam protector on the pins, many, many pins on the back of a processor. You want to be sure not bend those or damage them. And also in the box, this, this processor came with a heat sink and cooling fan. And if we open it up, 
one important thing to remember on your heat sink cooling fan be careful with it for one as with any computer parts you're working with if you can see on this process or on this uh, heat sink there's a plastic cover if you can see that that plastic cover protects the bottom uh, you see the little squared out section in the middle that's where your it actually mates to your processor there's a thermal paste already applied to this one and that's what this covers for to protect that paste anytime you apply a heat sink to a processor there has to be that thermal paste between it to help facilitate the the uh, carry away of heat from the processor if you ever remove a heat sink from a motherboard or processor you have to remove all of the thermal paste from the cooler and the processor clean it really well and apply new thermal paste and I think that's about all for this video that's what's inside those boxes the next video I will be actually installing the processor onto the motherboard and installing the heat sink and cooling fan. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. As always, this is your friendly, uh, not so expert, expert technical advisor, Tech the Redneck. Stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.